Hey there, welcome to another weekly update. My name is Nancy and this is our miniature horse, Teddy Bear, we call him Teddy. And we got a lot done this past week with his driving. We did a lot more practicing of backing and driving him around the pond and just doing different um, starts and stops and different things that you would need to do if you were driving Teddy. Look who decided to go in the pond today. What are you doing, Teddy? He's playing in the water. You like that pond? He likes the pond. What are you doing in there, huh? He decided he wanted to go in the water. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing in there, huh? <laughs> he's just like, he's just I hope he doesn't want to lay down a roll in it with his harness on. What are you doing? All right, walk up. Walk up this way. This is really hard to steer him, not getting myself in the pond. Where are you going? Come on up this way. Hmm? Walk up. Walk up this way. Walk. That was amazing. <laughs> Come this way. Come. I don't have the reins right. There you go. Well, that was different. That was very different. We're gonna go in the pond again, huh? He likes the pond. He likes the water. He likes the water. You wanna go in the water again? Is that nice? Is that fun? What are you gonna do? There you go. Walk, walk, walk. I can't go in that deep. I don't have any boots on. Come. Come, Teddy. Walk up. Come on. Walk up. Good boy. I definitely have to wear boots next time. And if you're new to my channel, he is not tied to anything here. He's just loose with me. I do this when I'm doing chores on my farm. But I want to try something new with him today. I've never done this before. Teddy has been in the woods before just leading with a halter and lead line. I have never tried ground driving him in the woods. And of course this woods is pretty thick. There's not a distinct trail through it. It's more a deer path. So um, I'm going to get my husband to help me with this. Um, I'll be ground driving him and he's going to be recording. And we also, I also want to try ground driving Teddy over some planks on the ground that would kind of resemble a small little bridge if we came across a bridge if we were trail driving. So let's see how Teddy's going to do today. Good boy, Teddy. Walk up. See how he does. I, I tend to think he's not going to have any problems with this at all. Come. Come. Walk up. Walk up. No problem. Very good boy, Teddy. Okay, now we're going to try going in the woods. Now, Teddy has been in the woods before with a halter and lead just a couple times. I've never taken him on this side of the woods, and I've never done it when I was ground driving. And there is not a distinct path in there, so we will see how he does with it. There's all kind of things in the woods. I never know what I'm going to find in there. Sometimes there are wild turkey, fox, you name it, is in there. So let's see how he does. Good boy, Teddy. Walk up. I'm going to try to stop. Teddy, whoa. Let him just stand and listen around. What do you hear? What do you hear? You hear any squirrels? Teddy, back. Teddy, walk up. Good job, Teddy. We're going to go up a little further here. So he's doing very well. He's a little bit, he's really looking around. Look at those ears. His ears are pointed so far forward. He's like, what is this stuff? Come on, Teddy. Walk up. Walk up. That's all right. Okay, that was his first sleep in here. Walk up, he, he got scared. Walk up, Teddy. He's a little bit afraid, nervous about this little makeshift tent our neighbors set up. Walk up, Steve. It's okay, Teddy. So I'm going to just have him stand and think a minute. So no problem, Teddy. As I drop my rain, <laughs> my hands are sticky because it's hot. It's okay. Walk up. Let's go. Let's go. Walk. Walk up. Let's go. No problem. Walk up. Walk. 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 
I have a feeling what he's going to do is, no, don't eat that. But let him just stand here and think about it a minute. Something new. He's never seen anything like that in the woods before. You think about it, Teddy. It's all right. Doesn't help that there's guns shooting off right nearby. <laughs> what are they shooting? Is that target practice? Yeah. I want to go over and sniff it. Huh? Want me to go over and sniff it? Um, I'm just letting him stand and think for a minute about it. He's he's thinking it. Teddy's smart. He's kind of processing things. I don't want to baby him with it. I'm just going to let him think. Yeah, I know it's there. He's looking back at me like, I don't know if I want to do this. Come on, Teddy. Walk. Good boy. Awesome job, Teddy. That's a big boy. And what I basically did is I gave him no pressure. I didn't try to force him. I didn't try to whip him or anything like that. I just let him think about it. Horses are smart animals, and he knew I wasn't panicked about it. And he was just, he turned back to look at me almost like to say, is this going to be all right? And uh, he did real good. That was really good, Teddy. I'm very proud of you. And we're coming up here. It looks like there's another deer stand. And I think because of all the brush, I'm going to turn him around here. I'm just going to turn to the left. Please come. And we'll go back the other way. I don't want to get him all tangled up in the brush. I don't want to just scratch his legs. Because this is not a distant path. And now it's going to be different for him coming from this direction to see what that monster in the woods is. It's okay, Teddy. Yeah, it's all right. Let's go. It's like he's trying not to... That's it. Let's just walk. Walk up. Good boy, Teddy. Walk up. You want to smell it? You want to go up and smell it? Go take a sniff. See what that is. Must smell really strange because you know, don't take a bite on it. That's not ours. <laughs> Bad. Okay, come to the right. What a good job. That was awesome. That's exactly the experience I wanted Teddy to have today. I wanted him to see something that he's not familiar with. I wanted him, his first instinct was to panic and run away, and then he realized he wasn't going to be able to do that. And then I just wanted him to stand quietly and process and think a little bit. And he did a great job. What I'll probably do is take him more down this path this week to get him a little bit more familiar with it. But the whole goal is to get him exposed to more and more new things that he has never seen before. So that was a really good experience for him. And now I have a little clip that I actually took last summer. I thought I'd show you what we eventually hope to do with Teddy. It's me driving Salem. And some of it was recorded with my husband driving in the car. And then I thought I would have a little bit where my husband is actually filming me driving. Ah, ah, get up. No need for that. Walk up. Ah. Walk up. Good job. Okay, we're going to go around and walk over those planks again. And we'll be finished. That's enough. I try not to do too long with him each day, especially today. He had a real good experience. I'm so, I'm so pleased with him. That was really good today. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you this clip as soon as we cross this, these boards. I will sign off of this particular video clip and I'll show you me driving Salem. Um, just for those of you who have not ever been on a been in a cart when a horse is driving, it'll kind of give you an idea of just what it's like. And uh, I hope you enjoy that. As you can see, I'm holding a driving whip. My driving whip is an ultralight. It's very lightweight, made out of graphite. And in my club, in my instructor, I was taught to hold it at 10 o'clock. And the driving whip is not used to whip the horse. It is used as an aid, rather the way you would use your legs when you're riding a horse. And you can use it to guide the horse in one direction or the other. Once in a while, if you want to have them pick up the speed, you might tap them on the top of the back with it lightly. But it's mostly used to guide them in the direction you want to go. Right here, you see me, I lay that driving whip on the right side of Salem to guide him around. And he's very responsive to that. 
and I do Western Country Pleasure with Salem. The head carriage, his head is carried very horizontal, slightly lower, very relaxed. And I don't do a lot of showing, but when I do show, I do take him in Western Country Pleasure classes. And now Teddy's reward, he gets a little bit of the grass patch here in the back of our farm. And uh, I think he did really well. He had that little spook in the woods. And uh, actually after I stopped filming before, I decided to take him back one more time. Um, without my husband, I didn't want to film it again, but um, he was fine that time. He didn't even blink an eye going by that tent in the woods, that little sh shelter in the woods. So we went back there and came back and I took him over on the other side of the pond. And uh, he's coming along really nicely. And I hope you enjoyed that little bit of footage of me driving Salem. And that's the goal with Teddy. We hope to eventually have him be a driving mini as well. So much fun. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So if you'd like to continue following me, Teddy's gonna be two in the end of April. Probably have a little birthday party for him, but he will be two in April. And he still will not be pulling any weight with the cart until he's closer to three. He's too young for that. We're just trying to get him used to different experiences and exposing him to as many things as we possibly can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you at our next update. Mm -hmm.